Today is going to be like a little memory book for me to look back on at some point during my life and go, wow, that was my last ever day at university. Now, last night when I was going through my phone, because um, I have a habit of looking back on things on my phone just as like things were about to finish, I was kind of like trying to work out like what my favorite moment was and like where things kind of changed for me with university because I really did hate university for so long. Like for so, so long, I was like, I can't wait to be done. Or actually at some point I was like, I want to drop out. But actually in the moment that really changed it for me was working in the lab this year and finding something that I was really passionate in and seeing people that were passionate about things. Like I kind of felt in love. Oh, that sounds a bit weird. I was about to say I fell in love with my professor. I didn't fall in love with my professor. That would be, that would be very off track. I kind of fell in love with how passionate my professor was about something that he was doing. And like, I actually think that if I wasn't doing this, I probably wouldn't end up working in lab because I, I did really enjoy it. Does that look right? Probably looks all right. I want to keep up appearances at university in the sense that I'm not completely falling apart at the moment. I hope you enjoy and um, let's head to uni. I have to be so careful with this camera. Like when I tell you I've been like smuggling this past people. My co-op has been robbed four times in like the last month and we had an acid attack on my doorstep last week. <laughs> not overly fun. Anyways, one thing that I can tell you um, about university for free is that I'm not going to miss the commute. It takes me an hour, a whole, like a whole British hour to get to university. Like, I don't know anyone else or any other university where it takes that long. Like, that, that, that's, that's what you get for like living in London. And the craziest part about it is that's still not like the longest journey that I do at university. When I go to play hockey or anything like that, because the hockey pitches are near Heathrow, it takes me an hour and a half to get there. But yeah, anyways, I need to go get a bus and then we shall be at university. Well, this last bus is super long, so initiate time lapse. This is just like one of my bus videos, minus all the hairstyle changes, but just you, you can imagine that going on. The next station is Bond Street. Doors will open on the right-hand side. Change for the central line. Well, and here we are in all our crowning glory. I don't know if it's actually even show the bloody building. You see it? Yeah. I was with hospital. Yeah, here is where I have spent nine months this year, every day, an hour each way. It's, it's been fun. It's been fun. What can I say? Just really enjoyed going to university. Just 300 meters down the road from NHMP prison. Also, just while I'm naming all of the other landmarks, there is a cost cutter there that I got several protein bars at this year. Um, for very, very extortionate prices. So uh, just because I did get rejected by Oxford and Cave, just a small reminder, second best uni in the world, mate. I know, I, I don't even really know how we've done it either. But uh, yeah, that's just a reminder in case we never manage to do it again. And when I'm watching this back in 30 years time, I can be like, kids, at one point in my life, I went to the second best university in the world. Also to MIT who came first, um, screw you. Why have you come first 13 years in a row? Like, do you wanna just like give up on being good? Let's go inside, because uh, otherwise I'm going to be late. Anyways, I have my first lecture now, so um, wish me luck, my second last ever. Might get a little bit emotional. Okay, well, this is a little bit worrying because um, there is no one here. Right, I'm gonna go find out where I actually am. So on today's menu, we have mystery burger, avec, chunky chips, and uh, Heinz beans. Anyways, other than the fact that I might miss my university degrees, Burger Monday, you shall not be missed. Yeah, I thought it was quite sad, really. Like, only 25% of the people showed up. Like, I, I felt quite bad for the bloke, because obviously, like, he spent time out of his day to come and, like, lecture us, and then obviously, like, no one showed up, which was, like, a little bit peak. Maybe I shouldn't throw stones at glass houses like I didn't show up to uni at the end of last week either. The thing that I do think is, like, super cool about this, like, last term that we had at uni is that we basically just had, like, a culmination of, like, TED Talk lectures from, like, experts within the field. I mean, like, how sick is that? But, like, they do actually, like, teach you some really interesting things. Like, I learned some things that I, like, in that lecture that I thought was actually kind of nuts. <laughs> don't actually really understand the sleep process like it's an adaptive thing but they don't fully understand it school um, timings are actually like not set to the adolescent clock and they actually found that if they started school later in the day um, kids tend to perform better and they're actually debating potentially about trying to start school later or it's, it's a discussion at the moment because they feel the students would just well in general do better I and mean, i know i would have done for example i mean I, I don't even really wake up until about 10 a.m every day like my brain doesn't function before then maybe that would be a good thing Another thing that I thought was really interesting is every 10 years of your life, you lose about half an hour sleep. I guess by the end of your life, you just don't really sleep at all. 
And then finally, disruption in circadian rhythms is actually the reason that most people with Alzheimer's end up getting hospitalized, which I thought was really cool. Like, because I always assumed that it was because they couldn't remember stuff. And in reality, it's because like these circadian rhythms are so disruptive that they can't physically look after themselves anymore. Maybe I am really just very, very weird and none of that really is very interesting. But if you did find that interesting, let me know in the comments. I am actually really weird. All right, so my course mate just sent me a message. Turns out we just got a result back. For those who don't know, by the way, I got a third in my first year and I got a very mediocre 2-2 two -two in my second year, which means that I have to average 63% um, in my final year to get a 2-1. If I don't get a 2-1, uh, my mum will murder me. So it's quite a pressure on this. Please, 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 please. Oh my God, it's taking so long. Oh, okay, buddy, okay. 72%. I'm so excited. I'm actually so proud of myself. Like I, I really have tried so hard this year. So a little private thing that I'll let you guys into is at the uni, we basically have this hockey match that's between the main uni and the medics uni. It's basically like a really massive match. Loads of people come out to watch it. There's a lot of needle in it and both teams really don't like each other. Anyways, obviously they were trying to get in my head when we were playing and like they were giving me all the TikTok chat, you know, as you do, right? But I can deal with that. I, you know, I get that all the time online. But um, one of the guys had done his research on me and he, for some reason, even though I've only told about three people that I've been averaging a 2-2 was like giving me chat being like listen mate I don't even know why you're at this uni like you're getting a 2-2 how embarrassing blah 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 blah. ever since then I've been like certain that I'm going to get a first or average a first this year just to be like well screw you mate just because I do other things doesn't mean that I can't also get good grades so yeah if you're watching this buddy academic weapon mate that's what you're looking at right here. Oh, my mum said, well done. In other news you know I said that the area that I'm living in is a little bit dodgy. This is what my flatmate has just sent me like that is absolutely nuts. I really need to find a new flat. If anyone's got any recommendations, please let me know. Anyways, let's get some work done. I feel really sad. So I just submitted the first of my two final submissions. So uh, that's positive, but um, yeah, I guess that's that really. Um, three years of uni, done. Lecture's done. One final submission to do, which uh, I'll submit on Friday. And I guess that's that's a wrap, really. I think the reality is the next chapter to start, a chapter's got to end. And yeah, that is the end of the chapter. On a Monday afternoon at 6 p.m., that is my career at university completed. I will never ever come back into this building probably ever again. But yeah, I really enjoy my time and on to the next, I guess. But yeah, as always, please make sure you like, subscribe and yeah, have a lovely day.